Hello and welcome to Knowledge City's course on Intermediate Level Outlook 365. My name is Matt Warming and I am an instructional designer who lives in Southwest Wisconsin. I have been using Outlook for over 20 years. Let's go over what we will be talking about in the next few units. For the intermediate unit, we are going to be looking at arrangement options. There are several different ways that Outlook presents its product to you. By default, you may like it, but you can always make that change. We're going to be looking at how to categorize and flag your message to make you more productive in your Outlook environment. We're also going to be looking at your contacts and or your people or your electronic Rolodex. We're also going to look at ways to manage your content without you knowing about it. In other words, we're going to set up Outlook to do some file keeping for you. We're also going to be looking at the calendar and how to make appointments within that calendar. We're going to be looking at the task within Outlook. Again, the task could be considered your immediate to-do list. We're also going to look more into the Outlook options off the file tab. There were quite a lot of them. They do need some explanation. Basically, there's a lot of defaults that you can turn off or on or rearrange. We'll look into that part of the file tab in this unit. We're also going to be looking at how to set up automatic replies. Oftentimes you need to be away for a while and you need to let your email contacts know that you are away and will be looking at messages at a certain time. Next we'll be looking underneath the home tab under the new items part of the ribbon. We will once again show that Outlook has more than one way to do a specific task and to look at the more items under that ribbon choice. Finally, we'll be looking at some best practices for attachments and how to best deal with sending additional information in your email. With that, let us begin.